Hello everyone, welcome back again with me, Mi Sensei, in another episode of This More Science Experiment. Okay, and in today's episode, we will be having the same topic as last week's, which is total internal reflection. Okay, do you remember what is total internal reflection, everyone? If you do, please comment down below. Okay, everyone, so total internal reflection is when light waves or sound waves are completely reflected. Okay, in this case, the light waves cannot pass through and is reflected back to the original medium. And at this angle, the image cannot be viewed. Okay, so to check more about the theory of total internal reflection, please check out the previous episode in the link down below. Okay, everyone, so what are the main usage of total internal reflection? Okay, do you want to know? Okay, so the usage of total internal reflection is to send information at a very high speed. Okay, so this is to support all of you to watch the video right now. Okay, so how does this happen? Okay, so total internal reflection has two main features. The first one is high speed, the speed of light, we will discuss after this. And the second one is no loss of information or light, which is all reflected. So no light is lost due to refraction. Okay, everyone, I have something here with me today. And boom! Okay, do you know what it is? Okay, it is used to send information using light. Okay, it is called optic fiber. Okay, so these fibers are made out of glass and coated with a low refractive index plastic to prevent refraction. Okay, so everything here is total internal reflection of the light. Okay, and then this light can travel at a speed of 300 million meters per second. Wow, it can literally travel seven and a half times around the Earth in only one second. No wonder it can send information to our houses in no time. Okay, everyone, in this experiment, we will demonstrate how total internal reflection occurs in the optic fiber to transfer information in less than one second. Okay, so we need some equipments for today. Okay, everyone, so first we need the laser pointer. Okay, next we need a big bowl, a stack of big bowls. And then next, a stack of small bowls. And then, an empty aquarium. Attached with a piece of paper at the end. And last but not least, we need an empty bottle with a hole. Okay everyone, so for this experiment, we have the setup of the wash bowls at the bottom. And then after we have this wash bowl, we have the small bowls stacked on top of the bigger bowls. And then we have this bottle of water already. Okay, so I filled this and I closed the cap. And then the hole will face this direction. And then I will put it on top of the stack of the small bowls. Okay, and then I will release the cap to let water flow into the aquarium. And then I will shoot the laser to see the reflection of light. Okay, everyone, so let's do the experiment. I will open the cap of the bottle. Okay, and then we'll turn off the lights in three, two, one, and go. Okay, I will light the laser onto the water. Okay, can you see? The total internal reflection. Can you see the water, everyone? The laser bouncing off the water. You see the red light passing through the water. It's like when it's in the optic fiber.
Okay, everyone, so water is denser than air. And when light passes through water, it hits the boundary of water and air. Okay, at a certain angle, this is being completely reflected. Okay, even though the water is curved. This is called total internal reflection. Okay, and this only happens when light is traveling through a denser medium to a less dense medium, like water to air. Okay, everyone, so how did your experiment do at home? I hope you had a great success. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, like, and share to your friends and family so that they can also do this experiment at home. Okay, everyone, so that's it for today. I'm Uji Sensei, and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye, everyone!